All right, October is National Seafood Month, and for many, that means fish might be on the menu. One of the more popular selections is salmon, and joining us today is Lunds and Byerly chef Michael Selby and local fisherman Grant Niver. Welcome, guys. Thanks Welcome. for coming in. Yeah, uh, thanks for having us. Grant, tell us uh, about your trips to Alaska. Yeah, so I grew up in Bristol Bay fishing. Uh, I still go back every single summer to fish. Uh, typically, June and July is kind of the hot months for, for catching sockeye salmon specifically. Mm -hmm. um, but we're up there. Uh, I fish with my dad and my two little brothers on our 32 foot family boat. So it's a small boat, and all of this fish is hand picked by local fishermen such as myself. Wow. What is it like fishing there? I mean, I'm sure that's different than what we think about fishing in the lakes here. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So we're not out there with a rod and reel. We have long nets. They're about three to four football fields long. So, I mean, we're catching anywhere from 1,000 pounds to even 20,000 pounds in, oh in excess in a day. So it's a high volume of fish. Okay, and what are we looking at here, Chef? This is the kind of salmon that you'll find in London Byerleys, is that right? That's right. This is our Bristol sockeye salmon. And today we've got a very fun and simple recipe to share with you. Okay. Uh, first of all, look at the color of that. Deep Isn't that red? Just, uh, yeah. yeah. That was the first thing I said to you. I, I'm not used to seeing salmon mm -hmm. quite that deep red color. Very, very red and very, very meaty, too. Mm -hmm. So this is a simple one pan recipe. What we've got in the dish so far is julienne onion and uh, orange slices that we've pre-roasted for about 15 minutes. And then we've just put the, the raw fish over top. And now we're gonna make a simple olive oil and herb orange drizzle for on top. Okay, are so those we've got, garlic scapes or is that nope, scallions? No, this is scallion okay. tops um, that we've just cut into diamonds a little bit. And we've got herbs and arbuquina olive oil. I love arbuquina olive oil, especially for seafood because it has a very floral finish and it's wonderful for actually finishing. It doesn't get bitter. Um, very full flavor. It actually, you don't need butter wow. with, with something like this. It really takes the place. So now that we've got this light drizzle here, we're just gonna go a little over top of each. Okay. So and Chef, when it, when it comes to, to a, a, setup, a cooking setup like this, are you sort of perfuming the, the meat with the sort of the essence of the oranges and the uh, the That's onions. exactly what we're doing. Okay. We're pulling a little bit of that acidic kind of twang that you get from oranges along with the rich flavor of the olive oil and of course the fish. Mm -hmm. And onions are wonderful too. So we just take this and we put the whole thing in the oven for about 15 minutes at 375. Okay. And we've got it one coming out, out of the oven right now. Yes, that just came out. <laughs> So, so what does this do for the flavor, the topping? What, is, what will this taste like? The dill is a very, very fresh, mm -hmm. fresh flavor, right? And then, like I said, the, the sockeye has a very meaty consistency, so it takes the olive oil very, very well. And of course, we want to finish with this too, so what we'll do is we'll put some of the, the sauce once again on top. So we have some cooked flavor into it, mm -hmm. but we've also got some nice light snap to it too. And we wanna go around the outside for a oh, nice wonderful. presentation too. So That looks great. How do you tell when uh, fish is done? I'm famous for overcooking salmon. Well, many people are famous for overcooking <laughs> sockeye. Uh, we oh, get I thought I was lot. special. <laughs> um, you know, it's, what you wanna shoot for is a nice opaque almost center, okay. and when you think it's done, it's done. Sometimes you add, you think it's done, it needs another minute, really, but Probably with doesn't. sockeye, you, you're, it's done when it's done. So when, right when you get that opaque center is when you wanna pull it and, and go right to the plate with it. And that's, olive oil will help with that too because of the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the richness of the fish. So that, that keeps it moist. Well, it looks delicious. Thank sure you both right. for coming in.